Welcome back guys, it's Daniel from Salty Boys Fishing and we got BJ from The Wild Bearing. That's right. What are we going to be talking about today, BJ? We're going to talk about a little bit of spear fishing. Well, let's dive right in then. All right. <laughs> Spearfishing versus reel and a rod. Um, I don't know. You guys see my channel. I like to use a rod and reel, so we're gonna let BJ take this one. All right. Yeah. I, I like this is this is my opinion. You know, other people might have uh, different views or reasons on why they spearfish, but for me, I like it because you get to be down in the environment and see all everything that's under there. You get to see the fish. You get to see some cool reefs. Um, you know, hunt them down and get them. And it's also kind of a challenge, and it's it's like active fishing, you know. So you get a uh, you get chased after the little fishies. Oh no! And then um, well, so then speak to us since you get to see the environments all the time. Why don't you go ahead and speak to some of the environments where are you gonna do some spear fishing? In? Oh yeah, great, great. Um, so typically, just just like uh, reel and rod fishing, where do you look for structure? And whether that be a sunken ship, whether that be reefs, whether it be rocks, um, weeds. That's where fish like to be, so even in spear fishing, that's where you want to go. Uh, there are some laws though when you got to look out for, such yeah. as in Florida, you need to be at least 100 yards from the public beach area, a fishing pier, or any bridges where fishing is allowed. So you can't be fishing at jetties unless they're at least 1,500 yards long, which there's not too many of those around. So really, if you're going to be fishing a lot of these structures, you're going to be having to go offshore a little bit or on some private docks. You may know some friends there you can fish on, so. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you're fishing on some of these sunken ships. Are you gonna be free diving or scuba diving? Well, uh, I mean, that's up to you. But, you know, depth does play into that and how long you can hold your breath. So, um, there are also, when you are scuba diving, um, the bubbles from the, scu from the scuba can sometimes, uh, the sound of that can scare the fish away. So, but it's important that if you are scuba diving, really uh, get proficient scuba diving and then work in uh, spear fishing later on. And uh, you have some videos on your scuba diving playlist that we'll link in the description right there. If you yeah. want to learn a little bit more about how to get into scuba diving, you'll check out the wild bearing and he'll set you straight. Yeah. So going back to that, the laws. Um, so when you, when you are scuba diving, it's important for you to have an understanding of like, the size, type, and uh, like of, of the fish that you're getting because when you're underwater, if you shoot the wrong fish, well, or spear it, it's, you know, it's a, you can't, it's not like rod and reel where you can just like take it off the hook and throw it back. No, that fish is dead. So uh, really before, be confident, be, like when, before you take your shot that you're gonna be spearing a fish that you're going to keep and eat. Um, if you're if you're not going to eat the fish, then I would recommend you just stick with the reel and rod fishing. And you can throw it back because uh, you're spear fishing. You're going to be killing the fish. So if you're not going to eat it, then well, what about some of the invasive species such as lionfish? Yeah, that's actually another reason why I do spear fish as well is uh, because you're you're helping out the underwater environments because uh, lion yeah lionfish are an invasive species and they're kind of um, overpopulating a lot of these reefs and um, like sunken ship areas and they're because they don't have any natural predators so um, actually uh, there's a lot of competitions uh, they're sending out spear fishers to basically clean up these lionfish and they make for some good eating too so they are delicious yeah so uh, also when you're underwater it's very important to know what different species look like such as billfish bonefish tarpon redfish and snook, all those species, and there are more, you need to check with your local regulations, are illegal to spear fish no matter what size they are. So it's also very important to not be shooting some of these endangered species or just protected species for that matter. So make sure you look into that. Yeah, and uh, when you're getting started, um, first uh, you need to look at, okay, am I gonna use a gun, a spear gun or a Hawaiian sling? And that goes into the size of fish that you're going to be targeting. Um, for smaller fish, you're gonna, small, medium-sized fish, probably look at getting a Hawaiian sling. It's actually a good, uh, probably good to start out with that, you know, cause you don't wanna start out spearfishing, going after these bigger fish, 
uh, start smaller. Um, and then work your way up to, to bigger fish and using a spear gun. And you can look into like the poundage and how much, um, how many bands are on your spear gun and that sort of thing. And when you're shooting big fish, you know what they say, right? What do they say? Size matters. That's right. <laughs> so make sure you, you know, take down the fish with the right type of gear because if you, uh, you're either going to lose your gun or you could get dragged into some dangerous situations if the large fish takes off running and you're scuba diving. It can really drag you down to places that you don't want. Yeah. So uh, you know, hey, back to what you said. Size matters, but <laughs> bigger is not always better. Because if you're going after these smaller fish, why lug around this giant spear gun right. when you can have a Hawaiian sling and be more nimble? You know. You so, are very nimble, BJ. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today. If you guys enjoyed that video, check out our fishing basics playlist. We're gonna have more uh, podcast style videos like this, trying to teach you and teach us a little bit more about fishing. So. Yeah. I'm Daniel from Salty Boys Fishing. And I'm BJ from The Wild Bearing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, have a good day.